Hi, it's Judy and today I'm going to be doing my January wrap up. I'm actually really, really pleased with myself already this year because I have read so many books this month. I don't know how I've done it because for like two weeks I didn't read anything. I only listened to my audiobook. So yeah, I don't know how I ended up reading this amount of books, but somehow I did and I'm really happy that I have. So this month I managed to read 10 books. I had a one star read, I had a five star read. So bit of everything and I've kind of read a whole bunch of different genres this month as well which is another thing I'm really pleased about. In January I read a total of 3,281 pages. I do want to read at least 50 books this year. I'm now six books ahead of schedule which is great for me. Just because I've read 10 books this month it doesn't mean I necessarily will read anywhere near as many or half as many next month. So the fact that I'm ahead just takes a bit of pressure off because I do want to hit that 50 goal. I had a really good reading month and I'm just going to get started. <laughs> the first book that I read was a book of two short stories. It's Almost Midnight and this is Two Festive Short Stories by Rainbow Rowell. So I gave this book 4 out of 5 stars because I just thought it was really really cute and it was really nice. The second short story was my favourite. It was related to Star Wars and I love Star Wars and yeah I just really enjoyed it. It was just a really nice light cute read to start the year with. The next book I picked up was another tiny book and this one was The Signal Man. A Ghost Story by Charles Dickens. I just did not enjoy this one bit. I gave it one star. I didn't like the way it was written. I didn't really like the story. It confused me at times and I mean it's literally so short. It was 52 pages long and I struggled to even read that. I just really didn't like this at all. <laughs> I don't think I've actually ever rated a book one star before so that says a lot. If you can hear a weird noise it's just our boiler. Please ignore it. <laughs> So I also read a poetry book this month, I don't really read poetry that often. The poetry book that I read was The Last Time I'll Write About You and this was by Dawn Lanusa. I'm, I'm going with. <laughs> this is a nice book, I think I gave it three stars and I did enjoy this a lot, it was really nice, it was just very kind of sort of depressing like it's a lot of it's about like kind of heartbreak and breaking up with someone that you loved and not having them in your life anymore and obviously once you've experienced that once before it's not a very nice thing it did kind of make me feel a bit sad but there were some poems in here that I really liked and a couple I did relate to there was one in particular I really liked I did really like this poem which was called grim not a fairy tale he's no hero he's the villain she took all the blame he skillfully played the game He's no prince, she learned since. Now she wears armour for skin and keeps her heart closed in. I really liked that, I just thought it was a really nice poem. But yeah, I gave this three stars and it was pretty nice to read. This was my first five star read of 2020. I absolutely loved this book. The TV show recently came out. I have been to TV show, I think I've watched it twice now. And I loved it. And this is The Last Wish by, An I think it's Andrzej Spakowski is how you pronounce the name. I think, I'm, I think that's it. That's what I'm going to go with. I'm really bad with names, as we all know. I really enjoyed this book. This book was composed of a few short stories about our main character, Geralt, who is a witcher, who's basically like an enhanced human being, but he's referred to as a mutant. Humans don't really tend to like him very much, and he hunts monsters and things like that for money. And he ends up being part of some a huge prophecy um, that is very very important and will determine the fate of the world they live in. I really really enjoyed this, it was really like funny and entertaining and you are thrown straight into this, there's not really any world building, nothing like that, you're just thrown straight into it at the deep end but I feel like that's the intention and it works and I just loved it, it's so immersive and such a great fantasy book and the main character Gerald is very very lovable, if you've watched the TV show He's even more lovable in the book and I just really enjoyed this and I highly recommend it. If you're thinking about it after watching a TV show, do it because you will not regret it. And I can't wait to read the rest of the series because I went out and bought them all because I'm so excited. Next up is Shatter Me by Tahir and Mafi and I did not like this when I first started it. The first 100 pages I just thought were very bland, like, I don't know, it was, it's so like cringy and the writing I feel is quite bad for this like there's a lot of repetition like she just repeats things over and over again to herself and I was just like what are you doing like and it's not just like a one-off it's constant throughout like the first couple of hundred pages and it was so annoying I do have an issue with the romance in this book because this might be a spoiler so if you haven't read it then just 
fast forward to the next book. The romance in this book just happened out of nowhere. Like, one minute it was they're in a room together, they didn't know each other. She just remembers him from when she was in school and they never even spoke then. They don't actually know each other. And then the next one it's I love you, I'm in love with you. And I was just like, where the hell did this come from? Like, there was no really, like, well, there wasn't really a lot of, like, character development to get to them being like that like it kind of just happened it would have been better for me if it was built up a bit more and then the romance occurred but it kind of just didn't make sense to me the way it happened I like I don't know I just didn't it didn't feel like it flowed well for me at all which kind of ruined it for me a bit once I got just past halfway the story started to pick up and it became quite enjoyable the last like 50 pages I really enjoyed I couldn't put it down it was a really cool plot but yeah I did have issues with this book. The overall story I think is really, really cool though. I know a lot of people love this, I just feel like, I don't know, it's a bit overrated maybe. I really like the way it's written but I really enjoyed the story which is why I did end up rating it 3 stars because the story is really good, like the actual premise of the book and the series is amazing but the main character really bugged me, the romance in this bugged me and the way it was written also bugged me. So yeah, but the the plot saved it and made it three stars for me. I do plan on continuing the series because I do have them all so I may as well read them and I do want to know what happens in the story so I will continue with it just not anytime soon. Next up is Grace and Fury by Tracy Bankhart. So this was from a fairy loot box I got last year or the year before. I got this quite a while ago and this book was another three stars for me. I did really enjoy it. It's about two sisters and women aren't allowed to read or write or anything. It's a very sexist society. One ends up on an island because she's caught she's caught with a book in her possession but it's not really hers it was her sister's she shipped off to this island where they have to fight every week to survive and that's all going on there other sister who never wanted to be a grace is now what they call a grace and a grace is basically someone who is basically chosen to stand by the, as a perfect example of a woman and yeah she ends up being a grace obviously it's not what she wanted then she starts to fall for one of the princes who's actually tricking her the whole time and there's this huge plot and then there's the whole story going on with the sister. It was really cool, it was really interesting and I did really enjoy it. It was just, I don't know, it was lacking for me. Like, I didn't really get a sense of the world with this book and I just, I did enjoy it, I just didn't love it which is why I gave it three stars. Next up is one of the most hyped books on booktube, the sequel just came out and I just got it and I can't wait to read it. So that is A Curse to Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kemmer, I think her name is, is it Kemmer? Bridget Kemmer, I think. This book follows two characters, there's Ren and there is Harper, there is also a character called Grey, but the two main characters are basically Harper and Ren for most of the book and she's taken from where she lives in Washington where she's dealing with her own problems with her family and her mother's dying and Grey kind of kidnaps her and takes her back to this other land in called Everfall where Prince Ren has been cursed and every season he has to try and find someone to fall in love with him so the curse can be lifted because he turns into this beast that's killing his own people and he's killed his own family and all that stuff. The story is obviously loosely centred around Beauty and the Beast with just a massive twist to it. At first I struggled with it. The main character kind of annoyed me at first in this book and I was just like there wasn't really a lot happening but then when things started to get exciting and it started to get more full of action and there was more character development then it got really good and I ended up really really enjoying it. This book was a four star book for me. So this next book was a reread. I read this when I went to New York and this is my favourite book. I absolutely love it. I love it so much and I really enjoyed it and obviously it was five stars for me. It always will be five stars for me and that is Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas. I'm not going to go into what this is about. It's basically about an assassin but we've got fey and magic and love and friendship and just all that good stuff in this book. It's just my favourite. It always will be. It made me so happy to reread this. I couldn't put it down and it's just the best. I am in the process of rereading the entire series. I can't recommend this book enough. If you haven't read it then I think you should. But yeah, I just love it. This next book I actually read the first 200 pages of but the rest was actually an audiobook so I've never ever done audiobooks now I've discovered audiobooks I'm so happy I really enjoyed this audiobook a lot I think without the audiobook it would have definitely took me a long time to get through this book 
and that is Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. Loved the TV show, like the first season I was obsessed with and I still am. Part of my heritage is Scottish and I'm fascinated by anything to do with Scottish history and anything along those lines. So because this is a historical fiction based in Scotland, obviously I knew I was going to love it. So this was narrated by Davina Porter and let me just say, what an amazing narrator. I just absolutely loved her voice. She narrated the characters so well. Her accents are amazing. I already knew what happened because I'd watched the first season of TV show but obviously there's a lot more in the book and I really enjoyed the book but I really really enjoyed the scene with Claire and the wolves when she gets out of Wentworth prison. Obviously that's not in a TV show so I didn't know that happened and I just loved it. It was just the way it's written and described you really like I could picture it so vividly in my head and I could feel like I was feeling scared while I was listening to it so I just oh I love that scene so much it was so good and this book was amazing I gave it four stars and I loved it my first audiobook experience I'm pretty happy I really enjoyed it I can't wait to continue this series the last book I have is a graphic novel that is Captain Marvel Rise of Alpha Flight and I really enjoyed this I think I gave this four stars this basically is a typical Captain Marvel kind of story. Basically it's her punching her way out of any situation she gets herself into. We also met the Alpha Flight team and were introduced to some really cool characters and I really liked the story in this because it constantly kept you guessing all the time and I couldn't really figure out who was behind certain aspects of the story and I just really enjoyed this. It was a quick read. And yeah, I just, I really love Captain Marvel, so of course I enjoyed it. So that is my January wrap up. I'm super happy. I think I did really well for me. I'm proud of myself. 10 books is just a lot for me. It is a lot. And I'm hoping I smash my goal this year of 50. I'm not going to be reading 10 books a month. I know I won't be able to because I do have other commitments and I don't always have time to read and sometimes I just don't want to. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have read any of these books yourself, then please do comment down below what your thoughts were on them. I will link them all below so you can properly read the synopsis because I didn't go into detail about what they were about. I just wanted to give my opinion on them and if I enjoyed them or not. So yeah, I will link them all below and yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye!